What's up guys, another, bringing in another video um, to get you a little bit closer to better privacy. So I'm going to kind of go over, in my opinion, how easy it is to install Graphene OS. It's pretty simple. The web installer is great. I love it. Now, I've been running Graphene OS for the past couple months. I didn't like it at first. I didn't like the layout. I didn't like how it looked, but I got more used to it. It's a great experience and it's super easy. All you have to do is unfortunately you have to get a pixel. You don't have to get the six, but you can get like the five or the four. Just make sure that you don't pick it and then end of life happens because that would be really unfortunate. If you can buy it second hand or with cash, it's even better. Better amenity. And then after listening to the hated ones um pod like podcast where he talks to one of the developers it changed a lot of my opinions about the company about how they run it in terms of security better privacy usability the web installer is too easy and they continue to deliver and make it better and pretty much have the closest experience to stock android I have had also so far no issue with any of my apps working. I like the sandbox mode. There's literally tons and tons and tons of uh, support from the community out there. It's gotten way better. And then just overall, I don't see a difference from regular Android and Graphene OS. Now, here is a list of all of the Security and privacy feature updates. I highly recommend you go see the hated ones video that where he goes more in depth, has more knowledge, and can explain a lot of this. Or just read, read their. I mean, they have a huge, a ton of information and in step-by-step guides. But I would recommend download it. Use the web installer. Installer. You can always revert back to Android too, which is great, and then test it out for yourself. Have a good rest of the day.